all my mad mothers is focused on the mother, both myself as mother and myself as daughter. But I call it an unreliable memoir in the sense that it's not just my story, it's lots of stories. And some of it's invented, some of it's true, some of it's borrowed and some of it's stolen. And I'm not sure what's what anymore. It, if you ask me, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you. I think this book is a real rag bag of different things. It's got prose poems in it, it's got poems in it, it's got kind of proems in it. It's sort of syncopated in a way. And I, I really love working with form, but I also like not being constrained by form. So, so what I like about this book is it's given, I've given myself the chance to really explore different ways of expressing myself. I always think of writing a poem as an adventure and a process of discovery, and I know that the poem is dead <clears throat> if I know what it's going to be about before I start. So it's always a mystery. I think Elizabeth Bishop said a mystery and a surprise and then a great deal of hard work, and that's, that's the poem that works. But they often don't come out like that. So that sense of not knowing where you're going, but finding something is what I'm always chasing. I like to know what people think about what I've written and what they get out of it. And in fact, what I find is that often I discover things in it that I didn't know were in there. In, you know, once I get a bit of distance, especially once it's in a book, once it's in a book, it feels like a different object altogether and very removed and exciting and new.